Right. Uh, let's talk about your teacher work sample specifically here. Uh, you in, in this tab, you can see the rubric. It's a lengthy rubric. There is a lot of stuff with the teacher work sample. What you're doing with your teacher work sample is you are um, planning a unit of study. Typically, you guys need to look at something that, that's a core piece. Uh, you elementary ed folks, for instance, uh, typically they'll give you spelling or science first. Um, and science would be okay um, to do a teacher work sample with, but, but usually you look more at one of the English language arts courses or even math. But what you're going to do is plan a unit of study. Let's say, for instance, you're going to plan a unit of study on uh, addition of two column digits, two column numbers. Um, so plan your unit, then you're going to do a pretest, you're going to teach and then do a post-test, and then look at your data, see if you were successful in teaching or not. That's in, in general, that's what this process is. Now look at the rubric, because it shows you, and the instructions there on teacher work sample show you to set this up specifically in some categories. It walks you through writing this process up. So um, be sure you're on that, be sure you look at that. Now, when you finish writing your teacher work sample, and I've seen those be anywhere from uh, six pages with a bunch of charts and graphs and attachments to um, 24 pages in length. So there's not like a minimum or a maximum on this. I want you to cover the material. Um, you know, you're, you're professionals now. You're about to be uh, graduated with your bachelor degrees and, and actually be um, teachers professionals out there in the world. So cover the material. There's, there's not necessarily a minimum or maximum on that. With your teacher work sample, uh, don't reinvent the wheel. Ask your mentor teachers if you're doing a unit on uh, adverbs. Their teacher materials may have a pretest and a post-test already. So you, I'm not asking you to write an assessment for that. Use the materials that you have at hand. Uh, but that's what you're doing. And it's what you'll do for the rest of your careers in everything you teach. You, you plan it, here are my targets, here's my curriculum, and then let me see where they are now. Because there's no need to teach something they already know. So see where they are, then instruct, and then check to see if you were successful and if they were successful in the learning. Um, and if not, reteach. And that's the cycle, that is the way that it works. So this teacher work sample, don't put it off, get started on it, and then make sure that you submit your teacher work sample to whoever the professor is that comes to do your evaluations on your campus.